Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the new updated filters and what you can do with them. So this is an example for a project's filters. So I've pointed the path to a project folder. So it will surface all the open tasks um, from the nodes inside this folder. And here is the example with all the uh, nodes in them. And I've used a status open, so only open tasks. I don't want to see done, scheduled, cancelled and so on. And no status means you can, it will also show bullet points and uh, plain text and so on. So, but I don't want this. I want to have a filtered view of the open tasks only. So um, you could do this before as well, but what's new is you can now also hover over entries and you see there is a edit button on the right. You can click on the edit button and it will show some kind of floating editor above the uh, search result. And now you can change uh, the text here. Let's just add some numbers. You click away and will update the filter smoothly in the background. So in older versions, there was an issue where the scroll position changed, so this is fixed. So let's change this back again. And also what's new is we have improved the filtering logic behind um, all this and also how tasks are uh, appearing below the monthly nodes and weekly nodes and so on. But in this video, I will show you how uh, you can now combine a project filter like this one with calendar nodes. So let's turn on calendar nodes and you see there are two tasks scheduled for 25th and 24th of December and they're part of this project um, nodes. It's just that they're not visible here because I have disabled scheduled tasks. So let's enable scheduled task and you see here's a scheduled task and it's this one scheduled for the 25th and somewhere below we have the other task and what you can do is for example, let's click here, task folding, let's say 24th December and we add the date, click away and it added the date here inside the calendar. And now we can also edit it here and just remove it again, click away and it will remove the entry from this. You can do any kind of uh, edits here. It supports all the things which you are used to inside the regular editor. So you have seen the auto completion when I type greater than with the dates. You can also do uh, linking between nodes and command B for bold and so on. So it's a full fledged editor. It's just filtering or just showing you this one tasks uh, which you've selected for editing. And one more thing about the editor is you can also see any um, subtasks or even quotes or bullets which you have put below the task in indented. So let's search for one. Yeah, this one, for example. So subtasks and clients has a couple of quotes uh, uh, like my thoughts and some subtasks. And if you open it, it will load up all the indented points, whatever it is below these, this task. So you can review it here and don't have to open the complete node. But if you want to open the complete node, if it of course still works just by clicking on it, it will open the node. Or if you do a command click, it will open the node in a new window or option click and will open the node inside the split view. So this is um, how the new filters work and how you can filter also the scheduled tasks. So these tasks, they don't um, they don't come from my daily notes. Those will not be shown here because we have the path contains filter. Uh, one more thing, you can also turn on here events and reminders and you will see the events uh, that we have redesigned them. They look a little bit smaller and they uh, take up a bit less space and are easier to differentiate visually from the rest of the tasks uh, for this day in this example. So it's easier to see uh, what you have for this day. So these are the updates to the filters. Um, of course, the what I've mentioned before, also there were some issues where the tasks assigned to monthly and weekly nodes were not perfectly uh, visualized inside the filters. This is also improved and we keep improving the filters. We have some more ideas what you can do with them. And let me know what you think about it and if you have some ideas for uh, improving the filters. Thanks for watching.